have to insert, connect them to make it a circle. Insert it here with the first one. Okay, slip, stitch, and tighten it gently. Yeah. So now you have a ring or a circle. First round, a circle, 16, double crochet. And if you want to change the color, I want to change the color, so I need to cut the yarn. Cut the yarn and get a new yarn to make a second round. For the second round, I just uh, make a ring. Yes. I mean, slip snap. Yeah. And then, insert your hook wherever it is you want to start. And I want to start here and just insert the hook in the hole, not inside here, not in the middle, in between of this, not in there, but it's up here. You can see there's a hole in there and then insert your hook, get the yarn, pull it, and make two chain. So one and two. Now, get a yarn. Insert the hook on that hole, the same hole that you inserted the two chains, and then pull through and um, insert that yarn. Now you had this two half, it's like a cluster, two half, and then get the yarn and pull through and chain one. And then a new one to the next next uh, hole get the yarn and insert it insert the hook and pull the yarn pull through another one to the same hole get the yarn insert the hook to the hole get the yarn pull and get the yarn yeah you leave the two and now you have three. One, two, three uh, yarn in your hook. So get the yarn and pull through. And chain one. That's number two. See? One and two. So the next hole, do it the same uh, pattern, the same process. Just get the yarn and insert to the hook and pull the yarn. And another one, do it two times, every hole, all, all the way to round two. Okay? That's it. And then, to finish the round two, you have to connect it. Once you're done the chain one for that last uh, hole, you have to uh, just connect it to the first one that you did. Yes? Just uh, insert the hook. And uh, it's like slip knot or connect it and close it tightly. Yes. And then cut the yarn for another uh, color. Cut it. And now you have round one and two. Now we're, let's move on to the round three to make a flower. This is yellow, yarn yellow, just uh, slip knot. Ayan. And... Uh, Wherever you want to start, it's okay, it's fine. And insert it between, in between of this uh, two uh, cluster, double crochet cluster. So, just insert your hook once again for the third one. Get the yarn, your yarn. And uh, your loop. And uh, chain two. One and two. Now you have a two chain. So, make it again, uh, get the yarn. To the same hole in between, get the yarn, insert the hook, and pull the yarn through. And a new one, another one. Get the yarn, insert the hook, get the yarn, and pull through the two loops. Yes. Two loop. See? Now you get three loop in your hook. It's fine because it will be always be like that on the first uh, crochet. On our third round so just get the yarn and pull through all these three loops in your hook and then chain two 
one and two. Now, for the next hole in between of these two, just get the yarn. You have to make a tree, but you have, no, you get the yarn, insert the hook, and hide the tail of your um, yarn. Get the yarn and fold through to the two loops. And then you have two loops now in your hook left. Get the yarn, insert the hook, get the yarn, and fold through with the two loops. A new one, the same hole, get a yarn, insert the hook, get the yarn, get the yarn, fold through to the two loops. Now you get four. Four loops in your hook. So get the yarn. Fold through the yarn over the four loops. And chain two. One, two. And do the same pattern all the way around your, to finish your round three. Same. So get the yarn, insert the hook, get the yarn, ins uh, get a yarn again, and uh, fold through to the two loops, and get the yarn. Insert the hook, get the yarn, pull through to the two loops, and you get four, oh no, three more. And one, we need one more. Same hole. Get the yarn, insert the hook, and get the yarn. Get the yarn again, and pull through over the two loops, and you get three loops in your hook. And get the yarn, pull through the yarn over the four loops, and chain two. To hit, do the process all the way around to finish the round three. Now, to finish the round tree, all you need to do is connect also to the same, uh, the first one that you did, the tree cluster uh, double crochet. So, just uh, slip knot there and uh, close it. That's it. And uh, cut the yarn to make the square. Now, we'll make the square for the round four. So, we need to cut the yarn. He Yes, now we have, it's like a flower, it's like a sunflower, since we use the color yellow. Ayan. To start the round four, to finish our project, I use the white color. So let's start just, uh, and here, I'll just uh, uh, make a slip knots and do it like this. Same thing. And uh, wherever you want to start, it's fine. So just insert your hook to the hole, get that yarn, and uh, chain three. One, two, and three, and make three, uh, two more double crochet. This time it's double crochet, not a cluster. So you have now three uh, crochet, three counts in this first hole. And then, make a new one, three double crochet to the next, to the second hole. So, and that's it, um, three double crochet to the same hole, to the second hole. And do it all the way round. No, not, just make it. Now we have uh, four, every four of this uh, all the way to the round four, we need to... It's three double crochet with the same hole. Done once you're done your three double crochet and this hole, the fourth hole, one, two, three, four. You have to chain two, one, two, and make three double crochet again to the same hole. It's like one, two, three. So it looks like we have six double crochet. On the same hole to the fourth hole of the third round so do it that every uh, four hole one two three four here and again one two three four here and one two three four here so it's like three double crochet for the next three hole and six double crochet for the fourth hole and make two chains in between and let's do the same process to finish all the round four just to finish the fourth round, just insert the hook and this, the first chain, one, two, three. So, you have to connect it to close it. 
here uh, for a while. Just make sure the chain tree slip knots and close it tightly and cut the yarn. And here you go, you have a flower, a uh, granny square. You can do whatever you want the color here as to make a flower. As you can see, I have here a different color and I already connected. it. Next time, I will uh, teach you how to connect this yarn because this one, I'm going to make a blanket for our sofa. As so... Here I have orange, I tried orange, and here it's yellow. So I connect them now and I make a blanket for this uh, granny uh, square, the very popular uh, flower granny square, crochet granny square.